Well, we're hearing stories of nightmare commutes from train passengers who are trying to get in and out of New York City Monday night. It was a mess. News 12 New Jersey's Chris Keating spoke with one man who spent four hours on a train. Chris, outside the uh, Secaucus Junction right now with that story. Chris? And Kurt, one commuter is telling us that it felt like they were stranded out there on the rails, suggesting NJ Transit forgot about them. However, Transit says that is absolutely not the case. But last night was certainly the perfect storm of multiple train breakdowns for commuters. Matt Lloyd was one of those commuters on board train 3510 from Secaucus to Penn Station. He left his job in Patterson and would get stuck on a train for four hours, 6.07 to 10.02 at night. The delay started moments after the train moved from the station. NJ Transit says two separate trains would break down due to a power outage in New York, which Amtrak was working to fix. However, due to location, a choke point for inbound trains, delays were lengthy. Eventually, they advanced us into the tunnel uh, where we were then stuck for about two hours. We were then backtracked out of the tunnel where we sat for probably about a half hour. Uh, at this time, we're, we're approaching like 8.30, 8.40. His train was sent back to Secaucus where another train was being made available. Some passengers actually got off to Uber, but Lloyd stayed. He kept hearing from staff they were next in, but they weren't. So he finally called dispatch over at NJ Transit and they told him his train was in the yard. When the individual told me that we were in the yard and we weren't in the yard, I knew that they did not track where we had moved to correctly. In response, a spokesperson for NJ Transit says at all times they know where their trains are. However, they did apologize for delays, saying the number of trains operating in and out of New York drops by 75 percent when one of the tunnels is out of service, which makes recovery from delays much more difficult and lengthy, adding our region is currently dependent on two century old tunnels into and out of New York City and incidents like last night only underscore the urgent need for additional tunnels. As for Matt Lloyd, he has a big decision to make. Does he continue to use the train or go to the bus? For tonight, at least, he says he'll stick with the train. In Secaucus, Chris Keating, News 12 New Jersey.